Step two begins with setting up your social media profiles. Social media profiles are critical for establishing trust online. Establishing trust is generally the first thing you need to do to be successful. If people trust you, they'll be open to whatever you have to share with them. If people don't trust you, they generally won't have any interest in learning anything else about what you're doing. The quickest way you can establish trust is to set up your social media profiles in a way that shows people you are a real person and connects people with what you do. I'm going to take you through a quick overview of setting up your social media profiles, which ones you might want to use, and an example of what they might look like. To begin, this is my Facebook profile. So you can see I've got my timeline and my profile picture. I have my work. I have where I live, where I'm from, that I'm married, how many people are following me. I've got status updates. I have photos. I have friends. I have things I'm done, TV shows I like, books I've read, etc. So you can see from a quick look at my Facebook profile that I'm a real person. And for working online, having a Facebook page is often desirable. And so I just clicked on my Facebook page. You can see I have my Facebook page set up and I've done a lot of work on it. So when someone visits my page and sees I have 792,000 likes, they're likely to trust that I'm established enough to work with them. Your about page is always critical to fill out because people often will look at your about page on any profile before they do anything else. Having links to your website, email, phone number, and a link back to your Facebook profile is a great way to establish trust on your Facebook page. Now go to LinkedIn second. LinkedIn is big for working online. Your LinkedIn profile image and short description are key to being found and establishing trust. You get a nice short LinkedIn URL, and then you put what you do. You can include videos if you have them from things like YouTube, other social media accounts. You have skills and endorsements so people can see quickly what you do. You can see all of these things build together towards establishing trust. You have your education, your volunteer experience, recommendations, job history, tests, and projects. So this is a good spot to link to your website and include your collaborators, honors and awards, and your other connections. You can see how LinkedIn, with a quick overview, is important for establishing trust if you do work online, and especially the connections. Most people that are active on LinkedIn have over 500 connections or have a smaller network of connections they interact with on a regular basis. Having over 500 connections is a sign of trust. And I'll go to, let's do Google Plus next. Google Plus, as you can see, is the smallest of my social networks in terms of followers and having people in circles, etc. Not as many people are active on Google+, Plus, but Google+, Plus is awesome for establishing trust. As you can see, 135,000 people have been to my Google+, Plus profile. Well, it's views, anyhow. A lot of people have looked at my Google+, Plus profile. Even though very few people are actually following it, you can see some people are interacting, and it's a great place to share all of the videos and activity I create and share online. And the beauty of Google Plus is integration with search. So if you create something new and you want it to show up in search results, Google Plus is really helpful for that. Now you can see the more, I clicked on my about page here, the more well-rounded you are, with your social media profiles, you're collectively starting to build trust up. 
So you can see if you visited my Facebook page and my Facebook profile, that might get it started. Then you looked at my LinkedIn profile, that would help. My Google Plus profile, now you're starting to trust me after you've looked at these three. Now let's take a look at YouTube. Same story on YouTube. If you make videos or tutorials, YouTube is absolutely essential. You can see this in my landing page. And I'm very thankful to have over a million people that have over a million views on my videos and thousands of subscribers. So that's another huge trust when people see that you have an established audience online they're a lot more likely to want to work with you this is the main thing most people don't understand when they're starting out is the power of making these powerful social media profiles established trusted connected social media profiles people trust and work with other people that are connected and finally twitter another example of just being connected. I don't do much on Twitter, but I still have a couple thousand followers and hundreds of people I'm following and thousands of tweets I've posted. And sure, I don't have a ton of engagement on all of my tweets, and that's okay. I just want to show that I have a connected and trustworthy Twitter profile also. I have a retweet here and there. And I have lots of people that make comments and talk back and forth with me on Twitter. The thing that's powerful is when you combine all of these profiles together, when you combine all of these profiles together on your website, you can make it a lot easier to establish trust. So I will go into more details about setting each individual profile up. But the idea is you want to have a small amount, anywhere from one to five or so social media profiles that people will look at that are relevant to what you do and that will be used to establish trust with you online.